Hello again to the Koi Keepers. It's me, your uh, friendly neighborhood Koi Keeper once more. Today I'm going to show you a video. It's like an unboxing and a demo of salt meters. This is in response to some questions I got from the previous video about Koi Pond salting. A viewer, a few of them asked me, where did I buy my salt meter? And I told them I bought it from a seller online. And after I mentioned them about my salt meter, the next question that popped out was, are the cheap salt meters that are sold online capable of doing what this much more expensive ones can do? They want to make sure before buying it that those units are safe to use and that those units give accurate measures of water salinity. Regarding that matter, I've bought two units from Shopee, this one and this one. We will be testing these units on different levels of water salinity. However, however, before that, I'm going to show you some basics of uh, salting of the water and how to compute for water salinity manually. Here we go. I'm going to measure 5 grams of salt. Yes, that's it. That's 5 grams. Here on my right is 1 liter of water from the refilling station. This has zero salt in it. Yeah. Sure. Let's test it out. It's zero, right? Let's wait for the beat. There you go, there's that beat. So going back. I will put this five grams of salt into this one liter of water. Wanna take a guess what the reading will be? Uh, for five grams of salt mixed into one liter of water. Wanna guess the reading? <laughs> Anyhow, here's the reveal. There it is. Point five percent salinity or in parts per thousand this would be five parts per thousand let me convert it to you in parts per thousand hold on just gonna press this there 5.0 parts per thousand so I hope this demonstration showed you a little bit of the basics of salt and water salinity yeah! Basically, the relationship of the weight, the salt, in the volume of the water. In our example, it was 5 grams mixed into 1 liter of water. The resorting salinity was 5 parts per thousand or 0.5% salinity. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like yeah! this, please comment below. And click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. Let's now proceed to a little bit of our unboxing here. three water samples that I have prepared. The one on the left has 0.2% salinity. The one in the middle has 0.3% salinity. This one here on the far right has 0.5% water salinity. So again, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. We are going to measure this with each of our devices. We'll try first with the Koi Medic. Okay. We'll do a washing first. It's giving us a reading of 1.9 parts per thousand. I've set it to parts per thousand. 
a while back so there she really on our first unit from online let's try it out what readings are gonna give us the reading is in parts per million it's 2146 so don't worry about that we can convert that to parts per thousand simply by dividing the reading by 1000 so 2146 divided by 1000 that's a reading of 2.14 parts per thousand so there's a difference of 0.2 parts oh. per thousand from the reading given by CoinMedic the second unit from online is giving me this 114 times 10 ppm if I do that we'll have 1140 parts per million and to convert that to parts per thousand that would only be 1.140 parts per thousand which is quite far from 1.9 parts per thousand hmm anyway let's proceed to the next sample let's just uh, give this guy a little rinse bullseye at 3.0 parts per thousand from the point medic hope you can see it let's see what reading is going to give us 3124 parts per million or in parts per thousand this will be 3.12 quite near to 3.0 no? 3.0 to 3.12. It's quite near, the figure's quite near. That's the reading is giving me. 1, then space 1 times 10 parts per million. I think there's really something wrong with this device. Anyway, let's proceed to the next. You notice me keeping these devices in an upright or standing position. The reason behind that is, let's say this is a device, and then there's water here. Sometimes, if you put it on a horizontal position, the water that's in here in the probe is gonna crawl inside the unit and into the batteries, and it's gonna cause a ground, and your unit will not turn on. So it's reading at uh, 4.9, which is close to 5.0 parts per thousand. I hope you can see it. I'm gonna bring it closer so that uh, you can all see it. Okay, right there. 4.9. 5,372 parts per million, or in parts per thousand, it's going to be 5.4 parts per thousand. That's quite far actually, the reading is oh. quite far. The reading is giving me now is 171 times 10 ppm. Can you see it? 171 times 10 ppm. Three different units with three different results, very different results. Let's take them off. And finally, before you keep your device, you need to rinse them to make sure that there will be no salt deposits left in the probes. So, together we found out that these cheaper salt meters do not give accurate measures of water salinity. I do not recommend this type of salt meters to be used on your koi ponds, but I will not stop you from buying it though. Well that's it for now guys. See you on the next video. Yeehaw!